So, I'm John Wise from Loki. Um, I'm, I'm as wise as can be here, um, not for any reason other than the fact that I'm telling you so. That's, a, that's about it. Um, what we do is uh, intellectual property, patents, and ideas uh, staked on the blockchain, right? Literally, the, the, the very act of doing a search to see if your idea has already been patented, if it already exists, ends up granting you a global 12-month exclusivity to a patent, okay? This is all covered under all sorts of uh, laws within USPTO, PCT, uh, EPO, and some of the inter international Asia laws as well. But I wanted to go into a couple of things about the actual patent industry, about the, the invention industry in general. Um, let me ask this, right? What do you think of when you hear the word patent? Does it make you think of innovation? Does it make you think of technological growth? Unfortunately, most people really think of words like expensive, lawsuits, difficult, legal work, long processes, all of these different things. This isn't a very fun, you know, fun terminology, and it certainly doesn't make you think of, uh, of furthering of mankind in general. That's mostly because patents suck. They're really, really, really terrible. Um, the invention process is complex. It's extremely expensive. And ultimately, you go through this whole process to try to secure your technology, the thing that you're working really, really, really hard for. And, uh, and you end up going through this six, seven, sometimes eight, nine, ten year long process just to be able to get you not the right to sell, not the right to make money, not the right to even produce. No, it gets you the right to sue. That's the point of a patent, okay? That is broken. That's a broken system. So in the world today, right, the current innovation landscape leads to a lot of waste. It's about 45% of global domestic product, GDP, okay? Last year, or sorry, 2015 here, we had $990 billion in R&D waste, okay? That is 70% of research and development globally. If we went over a couple of uh, hallways here and go to the pharma groups, they would be happy to tell you exactly how much they waste on patents, on legal fees, and on research development. In 2015, there were 5,600 IP litigation cases in the US only, each with an average award of 9.2 million. That was $51 billion, of which a quarter came from Apple alone. Okay, a quarter of that. The international GDP that's lost, the market share lost, is 30%. 30%. It's anywhere from 20 trillion to about 45 trillion dollars lost. So what Loki does is we redistribute that waste. We send it back to anybody that has an invention, just the idea. We don't actually need people to file patents. What we want is for people to get their incremental ideas and inventions staked on the blockchain and public disclosure as quick as possible, and then be able to group them together and sell them. What we can do then is even if it isn't patentable, it at least can go into public domain. It at least can be open, and people can then build upon them. Right? So Loki's main goal here is to make inventing so streamlined that anyone and everyone can contribute to the technological advancement of society. You don't need to do it through lawyers. You don't need to do it through lawsuits. You don't need to even fight the big guys, Google or anybody else, right? You don't even need to file a patent. The very act of doing the search within Loki's system actually ends up granting you the right to file a patent. That very right then can be sold as if it is a patent. Okay? We intend to become the gold standard here, cutting down the trillions of waste all over the world and creating effective matchmaking of ideas, capital execution, and to further the growth of innovation globally. What we really end up doing here at the very heart of it is we've turned ideas, literally intellectual thought, into an ability to mine cryptocurrency with just an idea and then group them together as an asset class that is already recognized by every government in every country in the world. This is our platform. This is just the initial uh, interface here. This is something that we have sales in. It's a live product. This is being used in 
in uh, about 12, I, I believe 12 affiliates, including six of the world's top 10 law firms, intellectual property law firms. It's very simple. It's just four keyword searches displayed in a Venn diagram. Why not? Why not, right? You can see the little dots right there in the middle. Every dot here, by the way, is a patent. That's about 300,000 results. If you did this on Google, you did this on LexisNexis, you would be going through hundreds of thousands of pages if you really wanted to get this. Right here, the little four dots right in the middle, that is exactly the most relevant stuff that you could possibly be looking for. It's so obvious. It's a Venn diagram. It doesn't need to be complex. We've done it for hundreds of years. Now I can go through this whole thing, but in the essence of saving some time here, I'll just give a couple of minutes. We'll explain a couple of the little differences between InVen, our, our product, and an actual patent agent. First and foremost, the cost, right? It's about $2,500 for a patentability search from any intellectual property law firm, lawyer, anything along those lines, right? That $2,500 is per invention, okay? Loki does $250 per month, as many inventions as you like, and it costs one Loki coin to stake an invention on the blockchain, regardless of the amount of the coin, regardless of the amount of the, the value of your invention, doesn't matter to us. It just takes a little bit of gas, okay? There are fewer roadblocks. You find more patents. On average, when users do the research through Inven, they actually end up discovering six more patents than than if their attorney, their expert attorney was doing this. And that's for one basic point, is that you, the inventor, need to explain exactly what you're doing, as everybody in every one of these booths is doing, to an attorney. And then they need to do the search. And you're trusting them to understand all this. It's like the monkey in the middle problem, right? It ends up being a really big issue. Our markets, right? Graph, graph, <laughs> great. Uh, $3.1 billion for the total addressable market in the IP industry. This is just the U.S. Okay? Uh, total addressable market for R&D in the U.S. is $990 billion. Uh, globally, we're looking at about a $45 trillion market, but I try to avoid going into a whole China syndrome deal here. Um, I'm not trying to say that we're going to be captivating all of this, but it certainly would be fantastic. We've raised... Uh, we're, we're right in the process of raising a private Series A as well as getting ready to do our token sale here in December. We've postponed that from October. We've actually done a couple of uh, previous venture rounds, including literally the U.S. government. The state of Virginia, which is the home of the U.S. Patent Office, is an equity holder of Loki. So, yes, you heard that right. The U.S. government is an equity holder and an ICO. A um, little wild, but nonetheless. And all of our clients are law firms, so we, 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 we do all this right. Um, we've, we're onboarding about 3,500 users a month right now. We're, we are in, uh, in progress with our product. It's been live about six, six weeks, and we're constantly pushing new updates. And it looks like we'll have about 12,000 users a month by December. That'll be about uh, 2 to 2.6 uh, million in MRR. Uh, this is our team, myself, John Wise, Eric Ross, actually now the Director of Technology, Brian Huang, experience from Ernst & Young, Deloitte, uh, GE Capital. He's our director of operations. Nathan McFarlane from YouTube and a couple of other things is our lead front-end guy. Arjit Singh um, has uh, intelligence community background, but a very deep understanding in machine learning. Uh, and we've got another 40, 40 or so team members. Please follow us on all the uh, social, social media stuff. And if you guys have any questions, technical or not, I'm going to be sitting right here at the back, and we've got our, our, our friend uh, Aaron here helping me out as well. Um, I'd be happy to hear from all of you. So I'm actually a couple of minutes early, so thank you very much.